buckle employees. Let's have a chat, shall we? <laughs> needed to buy pants because I literally only have one pair that I keep wearing all day every day one of the belt loops is coming off my other pair of pants that I bought for my engagement photos I wore those every day because they were my favorite they got a hole in the crotch I had to throw them away we had a small funeral it's fine but listen buckle I enjoy your jeans they're the comfiest jeans that I can find ever they fit me nice they make me look good I like that. I like you, Buckle. I like your pants. However, Buckle, your employees are very, very pushy. <laughs> Let me just tell you my experience that I just had. So I went into Buckle to buy new pants because I need some and I knew exactly what I wanted. I went straight for the pants and I turned the corner and there they were, the two Buckle girls waiting for me like a buzzard on the side of the road. So I walk in and of course they're like, oh, hey, welcome. And I said, hello. And I walked right past them. I didn't even acknowledge their existence besides saying hello. Because I know, I know these girls make commission. I know their tactics. I used to work in suit sales. I know. I walk past them and I go straight for the pants. I know exactly what kind of pants I want, what pants I need. And I'm looking for my size. All of a sudden I hear this little chirp from behind me go, it looks like you know exactly what you want. And I turn around like, ah! no, I really didn't scream, but that's besides the point. I'm like, yeah, I just need a few pairs of pants. And she's like, okay, that's your size. And I said, well, my size is this. I don't want to tell you my pant size, that's personal. And so she's like, okay, let me go find you this. The, what really impressed me though, I will say what impressed me is that I'm wearing buckle pants right now. She knew exactly what kind of pair I was wearing. She was like, it looks like you're wearing our salvage. And I was like, wow, I mean, if nothing else, that's impressive. I was like, I am. Wow, good for you. And so she goes and she gives me a few pairs and she's like, now these are skinny tight, but don't worry, they fit you in the thighs. They just taper down on the leg. And I was like, great, I'm gonna hate those, but let's try them. So I put them on, no, no, no skinny jeans for this fat boy. I <laughs> then try on the pairs that I know exactly what I want. And I'm like, yeah, this is it. This is what I need to get. She did bring me another pair, however, that I ended up buying that I actually liked because I got a light pair and a dark pair. So it's great, it's wonderful. Anyway, while I'm in the dressing room, buckle employee number two comes up and she's like, now I know Caitlin's helping you, but here's some shirts that I think that you'll really like. And I said, oh no, I'm not interested in shirts today. I'm so sorry. And she was like, oh, well just, just here's the, here they are anyway, just so you can see what I like. And, I, and she throws all the shirts over the freaking door. So I just have shirts like hit me in the face. I'm like, because that dressing room doesn't accommodate my size. And then all of a sudden, this is what's staring me in the face. Look at this. Look at that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't touch the shirts. Not one. Because I wanted them to know that I did not need a shirt. Anyway, so I come out and I'm like, yeah, these two pairs are great. I'll go with these. And she was like, well, now you need a shoes. <laughs> and I was like, Listen, Caitlin, whatever your name is, I don't need shoes. So I blamed it on my wife and I said, my wife would kill me if I came home with shoes. All I need is pants, thanks. Whoa, the pressure that they put on their customers to buy, buy, buy everything that they offer you is insane. Anyway, that's my story for the day. I'm gonna go pick up Liesl now and we're gonna have a good time today. Well, it's been just another day of rest, everyone. Here's this one. Hi. Hi. She gets to do selling stuff from home now. Um, but we have some really great friends who made us dinner because they knew that Liesl was on bed rest and isn't supposed to be cooking. And apparently they don't trust me. Just kidding, Scott and Shelly. We appreciate your kind gestures. So they made us some delicious casserole. So we're gonna eat that. And then later we have to watch a movie for Liesl's class because she has to design the show and she's never seen it. And I've been in it and it's so fun. Probably I'm actually supposed to read the script, but. We're gonna watch the movie. <laughs> it's the same thing, it's the exact same thing. 
and if it's not, I've been in it, so I will tell her everything about it. Um, my doctor called today, and I have to do blood work every week now. You do. So, that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> every week. Doctor's appointments every day. Ish. Ish. We have to be at the hospital so many times a week. And by we, I mean mostly this one, because I'll probably be at work most of the time. Anyway, there's that. Let's eat this food, okay? Okay. 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 Little Shop of Horrors! Are you ready? I guess so. Well, someone put this cat in a cage. Was did, it you? Did Dad put you in a cage? That's what I thought. Well, he looked like he needed to be caged. All right, what a relaxed day it was today. Guys, one day we'll have babies. And then we'll be more interesting because we won't be on bed rest anymore. <laughs> but it's okay. We do what we can with what we have. <coughs> um, <coughs> thanks for coming with us today. We appreciate you. It is 10 minutes to midnight. So I have to go to bed. Please let us go to bed. I'll have to go to bed. We all have to go to bed. You have to go to bed. Go to bed. Anyway, thanks for coming with us today. We appreciate it. As always, have courage. Be kind. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.